blink, 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 Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be the first video of the Wednesday guitar videos. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is show people how I record my music on my PC. Let's get on with it. So the first thing I have to do is find a backing track, like the drums and the bass for my music. So what I do is I go on YouTube, type in the search bar, free backing track, and then at the end of it, whatever track you want the backing track for just the drums and the bass so let's say we can do rock candy type in rock candy so let's uh, search that and then we've got Montrose rock candy drums let's try that one see what it sounds like so let's try that one a little bit more on you rocking it Ba da ba da ba 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 Open another page. I might already have one of my favourites. Uh, what I use is this one. It's called Easy YouTube MP3. So just type that in your search engine on Google. Find this. Then all you have to do is keep this page open. Go back to your other page. Go to the top of the page in the search bar. Just highlight what's there. Right click on it. That comes up and just press copy. And go back to my easy YouTube MP3. Go to the search box, right click inside, go down to the list and press paste. And then it comes up in there. And then there's a little button here, it says convert video. So you press that, wait for a few seconds. And there's your video, there's your music. So now you can press download. Sometimes you get some silly ad come up. 
but uh, don't worry about that. Then we press download on here. I mean, I don't know if you can see down there, but it's downloading. I think it's done. So then we click there and we scroll up to show in folder. And then brings the folder up, which this one is highlighted, so that is the folder. So what we need to do now is get a USB stick, plug it into the laptop, now when you've got that plugged in, we can go back to our rock candy, which is this one, right click on it, then go to send to and then go to USB drive D upload it to there and just to check if it's in there go to the USB stick and then there's all the tracks that I've downloaded and just look for Rock Candy, Wadtro's Rock Candy, there it is. Now just to see if it's definitely on the stick, see if it plays. And there we go, we've got the drums. Yeah. So now we've got it on the USB stick. Go away. Now we've got it on the USB stick. We need to get it onto the PC. And now let me show you my PC setup. So this is what I use. Cubasis VST3. Bought this in about 2001, 2002. It cost a lot of money back then and it is not compatible with Windows 10 or 11 so what I had to do was rather than buy I did have another version, the modern version of this but boy was it complicated so what I thought no way I'm going to learn how to do all that so what I did was went on eBay bought a PC tower with Windows XP on it so this computer is running Windows XP which, um, what I do is got my guitar pedal which has one of those but I need the big jack so I just put an adapter in plug that into there and then that goes all the way to the microphone socket and then the speaker socket goes back out it goes into my Sony Hi-Fi in the auxiliary so that's all that, I hope you're all following me so far and then we have to plug the USB with the rock candy drums into this. I just put this extension cable into one of the USBs at the back. So then I can just plug my USB into this. Da -da. Go to my computer, which is that one. And then it comes up on here. Let's make it big. And then it should be removable disk F. 
So we open removable disc F, and then we have to go down to M, Montrose Rock Candy, which is there. So I right click it again, press copy, minimize this, and just go onto the main screen, right click on the main screen, press paste. And then there is your rock candy on the desktop. So then we have to open the Cubasis. And we have to go to the options to enable things. Just take it quite a lot of this doing this every time you switch Q bases on. Turn it to full duplex. Okay, then we can go to our top channel, number one. <coughs> and if we press stereo instead of mono, it turns that into a double track. Then we just go to file. import audio file <coughs> and then we want to go to desktop uh, click fp3 and WAV and all that lot and if we go to M Montrose Rock Candy and we just do that, press select and it loads into Cubasis and there it is on my Cubasis first track 1 and 2 stereo and then all these other tracks for my guitar. I'll show you how I do one track. See that's the drums. Let me put you on a tripod so we can see what's going on. Okay, then we just select track three which is that one. Then we go to the mixer, turn volume three down on volume three <laughs> on track three. Otherwise it sort of echoes back if you don't do that. If you leave that up it'll... You know, I'm just hitting the strings once. Just to prove. Just hitting the strings once. So you have to turn... volume down on channel 3 and then it just does it once so then we've got that set and then we just press play on the bar press record wait for the drums Stand. There we 
can see this track three has come up. So I'll just record that track. Then I'll do a track on number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. And you could also put MIDI tracks in there, but they do sound a bit crap. But let's just listen to what I actually played. See the marker going across there. I'll have to turn the volume up. There's a gap there, so there we go again. So I've got all these tracks to play with. Sixteen tracks. So. Explains to you lot how I record my music. Uh, I don't play the drums, don't play the organ. So if you hear an organ or drums on my tracks, it's not me. It's just the guitars. I hope I've explained myself properly. I hope you've all understood what I've been going on about. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, just uh, click down there on that little subscribe button. I think it's white. Click that, subscribe to my channel and there'll be lots more coming in the future. See you again soon. See you in another life, brother.